Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and today I thought I would chat with you guys a little bit about the weighted pull-up, because this is an exercise that is one of the most amazing exercises that you probably aren't doing. And yeah, in the background I have all the pull-ups I've done on camera in the last week up there. Yes, I do mind weighted. Now, a lot of you guys are going to say, Jason, we already do these. We're a regular watcher of your channel. Yeah, but there's a lot of new people out there. My cells have been growing a lot. I mean, I only broke 100,000 a few months ago. And we got all these New Year's resolutioners. These people need to know this. But yes, guys, the pull-up. The pull-up is one of the most amazing exercises of all time. It is vastly superior to the fat pull-down, which some of you guys call the lat pull-down. But I heard a trainer call that the fat pull-down because he said it's an exercise that people do who are too fat to do a pull-up, right? That's what he said. So I like to call him that also. But joking aside... The weighted pull-up, amazing exercise. If you're not doing it, you need to do it. And I need to break down why for you guys. Uh, number one, it is an exercise that moves your body through space. We've known for decades that exercises that move your body through space seem to elicit uh, kind of a unique training response. The Russians did a bunch of study on this even during the Cold War for their athletes and realized very quickly that this was a superior way to train. Anything that moves your body through space is amazing. Uh, not only that, it's an exercise that moves your body through space through a fairly long range of motion. Now, gaining muscle mass, the range of motion that you move the weight through, in this case, your body or whatever you have attached to your body, uh, actually does impact overall development, muscle growth. It's harder, more difficult. Um, it's an exercise that can be done safely for your shoulders if you take a relatively narrow grip. I don't recommend you do a ultra wide, by the way. It's a Fairly safe exercise that can be done anywhere, has amazing training effects, and it works an enormous number of muscles through your upper body. In fact, it works the majority of the muscles in your upper body. Uh, a lot of people aren't aware of this, but if you start from a dead stop at the bottom, you guys notice I do not have my shoulders back at the bottom. I go all the way down and I let my scapula come apart. In other words, you don't have the packed shoulders at the bottom. If you do that and you go all the way up, at least get your chin to the bar. Uh, ideally, you want your chest to touch the bar, but not everyone can do that. Depends on mobility, maybe how much your ego lifting, a lot of different factors. I would argue that a lot of the benefits from it come from the bottom. I've heard people say, no, the, the most important part of that lift is the top. No, I think it's the bottom because the bottom is where you engage a lot of other muscles that may not get worked as much at the top. Um, but yeah, it obviously works the biceps, the brachialis, the radial brachialis, your grip, your latch, your rear delts, mid traps, upper traps. Uh, it does work the mid and lower trap more than the upper trap. Yeah, it works all of those muscles. But because of the uh, way that you get the stretch at the bottom, it actually elicits a stretch reflex in the long head of the tricep. Now, that tends to be the head of the tricep that gets the most neglected. In other words, your tricep has three heads. Well, the long head of the tricep is the one that gets the least work on the bench press and most of your tricep uh, extensions and things like that, right? So since it actually works, that head of the tricep, it actually gives a stretch reflex in it. Um, it gives you a, an extra training effect in part of your arm that oftentimes can be your weak link if you're doing tons of pressing to build your triceps up, right? Um, so that's a nice effect right there. It also works the upper chest. It works the upper chest. Again, an area for a lot of guys is lagging. That's lagging. So when you start talking to guys who are chasing a physique, because we're going to get into some athletic stuff in a minute too, guys who are chasing a physique, all right, it helps give you that wider back, helps work the rear delts, oftentimes a lagging area, biceps, show muscle, forearms, show muscle, but it works the long head of the triceps and the upper chest. All right, those are two areas that a lot of guys who are chasing that whole aesthetics look are actually lacking. So it, it actually works very common weak links uh, for guys who are kind of chasing the aesthetics look, the beach body look, whatever it is you want to call it. Um, so it's very, very valuable there, very valuable. In addition to the fact that because it's moving you through space, it works your abdominals. It's actually a core exercise. It works your abs. In fact, there's data on it showing that even body weight pull-ups work your abdominals as much as a crunch does. So you're getting an extra crunch in every time you do the lift. So when you look at all these different muscles that are involved, uh, this is a total 
upper body builder. Now, some people say, well, you do need more tricep work and chest work than the pull up. And I would agree. I absolutely agree. You even need more delt work, more overall shoulder work. But when you talk about bang for your buck, you are working an enormous number of muscles in the upper body. Enormous number of muscles in the upper body, especially when you start throwing in the things that it works the ab, long head of the tricep. And this is an all around fantastic exercise. All right, and with it moving your body through space, it has an athletic component. So people who are looking for various sports specific applications, this is fantastic. Um, and when you're doing the pronated grip, like I'm doing the overhand grip, I personally find you can do more volume on this than without tendonitis in the bicep tendon. Uh, for older lifters, that's a real problem because I'm 42. So for new viewers who aren't aware of that, and they're like, this guy, man, well, how old is he? He looks middle-aged. Yeah, I am middle-aged, guys. I am 42 years old. And yes, I'm doing dead hang pull-ups for reps with a 55-pound plate. Um, yeah, I'm 42. So us older guys, we have to watch that connective tissue inflammation, particularly when we start throwing around big weights. We got to pay attention to that. I find the pronated grip is better for that. Also, it gives a deeper stretch on the bicep to have a pronated grip. It doesn't give you quite the same contraction you do with the peak like a, a chin-up does underhand grip, but it gives a better stretch at the bottom, right? It gives you a better stretch. Uh, that stretch can be useful for a lot of things. That stretch can be real useful for, again, connective tissue strength in the bicep. Uh, I find that, again, it's easier on the tendon in general than the underhand grip, so you don't uh, develop tendonitis from it. Has carryover to people who have certain jobs where they might need to pull themselves up a wall, right? So, I mean, like if you're going to be a firefighter, police officer, when military, for many branches of the military, this is a mandatory exercise, right? They get tested on this uh, for obvious reasons. They might need to climb up an obstacle or a wall out in the field. Very valuable exercise for them, particularly when you start doing it weighted because they're having to do it with a pack on. It's a very functional exercise. It actually carries over to certain things in the real world, to some people's jobs, right? It's a great exercise. Then we come to ease of loading, you know, a lot of people say, well, you're just stuck with body weight. No, you're not. You can load it. You can microload it. You can use a little two and a half pound plates to microload. I do. I program it like any other big lift. Once you get a good belt, uh, you can go as heavy as possible. You can build your strength up on this and add weight way beyond your body weight. And like, for example, with me, I weigh 215 right now and I've got a 55 pound plate. So I'm doing my sets there with 260 pounds, right? So you can add weight to it. You can add weight easily. It's easily adjustable. And then people would say, well, you know, I'm not strong enough to do one. So should I just do lat pull downs? I would say, no, absolutely not. Absolutely not. You don't need to. Uh, the two things that I recommend are doing negatives, meaning go up to a stool or whatever, get up to your, to your pull up bar, grab a hold of it and just try to lower yourself under control. Do that every time you're at the gym, do that at home, get a pull up bar at home. That's the beauty of the pull-up. You don't necessarily need a gym. You can do this thing anywhere. And have a band with you, right? Let's say you got a park, you can do pull-ups somewhere. Or you, you're doing it at home, you get a little cheap pull-up bar or chin-up bar. You can get bands to make it easier. In other words, if you get a band that you can put one knee through, you can stretch it up over the bar, it replicates even better what those machine assists do. In fact, I would recommend the band over people getting those, those assist machines. I think the band is better. So even if you have access to the assist machine, I recommend getting a couple different tension of bands. You can use those until you are strong enough to actually do them with your body weight because maybe you're weak, maybe you're fat, maybe you're both. Bands will go a long way to helping you get strong enough on this because you'll get strong on it. Even if you're overweight, if you do enough of them with the bands, and the re you know, which is like a reverse band when you do it that way, you'll get strong enough to do them with your body weight eventually. Particularly as you get stronger on the exercise, you strengthen all those muscles involved and you start losing body weight, you'll be able to do them before long. You know, yeah, it might take you a month. It might take you six months. If you're really fat, it might take you a year, but you will eventually get there. So it's really a convenient exercise to do that has an enormous bang for your buck. I mean, it's beneficial to athletes. It's beneficial to guys chasing a, a certain physique look. Uh, it's beneficial for certain types of injury prevention because it builds the posterior side of your, your back, your shoulder joint, everything else, which will help you be slightly more resistant to shoulder injuries on your bench pressing. Is useful for people with certain professions, has, so it has carryover to certain jobs. The pull-up is an exercise that I honestly think pretty much everyone 
out there needs to be doing. I think this is a must do exercise. And if you're not doing it, you need to find a way to incorporate it into your training. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative and I will talk to you guys next time.